This tutorial will show you how to draw random questions from a previously created question pool into an assessment in the MyCR Tests and Quizzes tool. First, we'll access the Tests and Quizzes tool by clicking the Tests and Quizzes link in your class site along the left side of the screen under the Course Tools menu. The main screen of the Tests and Quizzes tool allows you to create new assessments. Let's do so by typing in the title for this assessment and clicking the Create button. New assessments in Tests and Quizzes always start with a Part 1, so we won't need to add a Part 1 to our quiz, but we'll want to click the Edit link. Once we've clicked the Edit link, we can change the title for this part, and then we'll call it Part 1. And the important part here is when we scroll down under Type, we'll want to select Random Draw from Question Pool. Once we've done that, we now have another set of options. The first one is Pool Name. Pool Name is a drop down menu. And when we click that menu, we have the option to pick our pools. You can see here I have Question Pool 1. And it has four questions in it. I also have question pool two with another four questions. I will select one. The next option is number of questions. So this pool has four total questions, but for this part, I only want to draw out two. So I'll put a two in that option field. The next option is point value of questions. And I'm going to go ahead and put 10 in there. So each of these two questions will be worth 10 points each. There's also an option called negative point value for incorrect answer selection. So if a student gets a question wrong, putting a value in here will take points away from them. I'm going to leave that blank. Next, we have two types of randomization available to us. The first one is a student's questions are randomized each time an assessment is submitted. So, if a student takes a test multiple times, for example, if you let them take it twice, the first and second time, another set of random questions will be chosen, so they won't see all the same questions each time. If we select the second option, a student's questions are randomized once for all submissions, then no matter how many times you allow a student to resubmit or retake this quiz, the quiz for that particular student, all the questions will be the same. I will select that option. After you've chosen all your options, down at the bottom, you can click the Save button. Now back out at the main Quiz 1 page here, you can see that Part 1 is a random draw from Question Pool 1, and it has two questions. If we want to add more random questions from a different question pool, we can click the Add Part link to add another part to our assessment and then draw those questions. So let's go ahead and do that so you can see. I'll click the Add Part link. And again, it's very similar to what we just saw. We can add a title in, which I will call Part 2. Scroll down and select Random Draw from Question Pool. Under Pool Name, I will drop down and select Question Pool 2. Again, I'm going to use two questions for the number of questions. And in this particular section, I'm going to go ahead and do 20 points as the point value of questions. Again, I won't assign a negative point value. And I'm going to randomize once for all submissions. Once I've selected all of these options, I can click the Save button. Walk back out, Quiz 1 Overview, and you can see that Part 2 has been added, and it is a random draw from Question Pool 2, and it has two questions. In the upper right-hand corner, you also see the total for this quiz is four existing questions, and it's worth 60 total points. If at some point you would like to change what question pool the questions are being drawn from, 
how many questions are coming out of that pool or the point value, you can click the edit link for the part that you'd like to edit. Once again, we will be brought to this edit page and we can make any changes we want to this quiz, this part of this quiz. And once we've done so, we click the save button down at the bottom. That's it. I hope that helps.